Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? I can. I hear you. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, fucking amazing. Yeah, man. Testing profanity. Testing profanity. Fuck, fuck. No, man, it works. It works. Good. <laughs> All right. Well, we are already streaming. Yeah, thanks for sharing that with a bunch of people we went to college with that I don't really talk to anymore. That's great. No, man, don't worry about it. <laughs> this is this is where it starts. They're good people. They're good people. They just shit too best. close to the house. That's right. That's what we used to say about them. It's probably still true. It's probably still true. All right. So this should be happening over here. Oh, what the hell's going on with this? I was trying to get my my tablet to load it up over here, but it's just sitting on its ass doing nothing. I don't understand. That's counter helpful. It's contrary to to useful. That's what that is. It's not. So let's write some code today. What do you think? You want to write some code? Yeah, man. I mean, I noticed that last time that you're using IntelliJ now, and we should probably we should probably have a quick chat about that. Worship our Russian overlords for a minute. Um, are they Russian? Because I like Russians. They are actually. They're um, they might be Ukrainian. I'm not entirely sure. Wikipedia right. probably knows. Wikipedia knows everything. All right. <laughs> oh, of course, a pure in changed their uh, their layout a little bit. So now I'm not quite capturing exactly the right section of the window with your face in it, but. They're check, as it turns out. Well, who wants to see my face? No, nobody is logging on to see this. You know. <clears throat> Listen, I think you are really, you know, underselling yourself. You're really underselling yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can we right. get some corporate sponsorship? I uh, we some do now sponsorship. You know. <clears throat> um. At any rate. At any rate. I am using IntelliJ at work, um, and that's the thing I remember how to use the best at the moment. <laughs> okay. So that's what I have installed. Yeah, we switched to IntelliJ in uh, the former, the group that you were a part of before you left. Mm -hmm. um, are we allowed to say that or not? I don't care. Sure. Yeah. Done. All right. <laughs> So it used to be called the SSS group. Oh yeah, the uh, Soviet Secret Service. Mm -hmm. Right, right, and uh, it got renamed the SSA group, which doesn't lend itself to humorous icons, icons and imagery <laughs> quite as readily. Oh uh, no, it kind of um, does. I mean, the first thing stuff. that the first thing that popped up was uh, Soviet secret assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. Any group with me in it. So, it's a bunch of assholes. That's right. Yeah. So we, we briefly had a different manager, and we tried to get him to buy IntelliJ for us, and he said he was working on it. And he kept saying he was working on it. And eventually me and, and Rick, I don't know if you met Rick. Um, I think he was there before you left. Yeah. Well, that was certainly a Rick. Rick uh, Lively? Yeah. Rively, yeah. remember? Rively, yeah. <laughs> so he and I both started <laughs> using IntelliJ and kind of fell in love with it coughed up the money for personal licenses because they weren't forthcoming. And then like two days later, our manager showed up and was like, we got licenses for the whole group. <laughs> $200 ago, that would have been really nice to know. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's all good, though. It's all good. Yeah, I do like it quite a bit, um, and I do. I have been enjoying their Idea Vim plugin, of course, sir. Sure. Because you know how I roll. I can't hand, I can't. I can't stop. I'm sorry. I should. I should be ashamed, and maybe I am a little bit. No, you're not. You're super proud of it. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, where am I headed? So, <clears throat> things we've done. I set up a. Um, the Heroku account. Yep, you made a Git repo too. <clears throat> I made one of those. 
Um, I even deployed their sample app on our Roku. What you jigger? Yep, yep. Hmm. I haven't cloned your uh, the repo yet, Sour Boat Web. <laughs> I sounded right, <laughs> right? We are pr we are pretty sour boat about it. <laughs> We're pretty sour boat it. Uh, yes, now I, I got your readme file. <laughs> Home slizzle. Uh, oh, there's code in there now. There wasn't code in there before. Spark. It's all just uh, the sample code, basically. The, the Spark sample. Yeah. Cool. The Heroku homies. That that is what they do. They home. Yeah. Uh. Goodness. So was Spark? I can't even remember. You mentioned one thing you wanted to try, and I thought it might have been Spark, but I don't remember. Sure. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was well, as far as web, web frameworks. Web, web, web frameworks. Um, uh, it sounds good to me. I haven't I haven't tried it yet, um, but pretty much anything ought to be more productive than JSF. I'm, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Hashtag, am I right? <laughs> yep. So let's uh, let's <laughs> spark it up. Sparktacular. So I, I haven't really messed with it a whole lot either. It does look like it uses FreeMarker, uh, which I have, which I do use, um, did use for work also. So I've used FreeMarker. I think I started us using that in the PHT for um, for sending disposition letters. <laughs> um, and we now use it at work in the in something we call the request handler, which is a piece of Alma technology. <laughs> oh, great! I, I think I should, I should throw a hashtag. My views do not represent those of my employer. In before I <laughs> before I dump on that too much. Uh, I, I suspect that's wise. Yeah. So this is not an official production of my employer, which. Uh, should be obvious from the fact that my employer's name doesn't appear on any of this. <laughs> Generally, but, that's how you signal that. Uh, I think that case, is the tradition. In case they figure it out, um, I'm not. Uh, this this is totally not representing my work. Uh, so yeah, I mean, so the the thing about that program is it uses FreeMarker for the web templates, but it just glues strings together to send email. And that feels like a missed opportunity to me. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Sour boat web. Excuse me. It is. It is weird that you have to like tell it to refresh though, IntelliJ. To refresh the whatnot. So that when you're opening a folder, you sometimes have to tell it, "Hey, buddy." The problem we have with it at work, which is the same problem we'd have with any any uh, one of them is that any IDE I mean is that our project is just too big yeah. it's, just, it's just too damn big it's so, not broken down yeah well it was supposed to be it never really materialized that way we're, we're on like round 54 of rewriting it or something you know so maybe this time this time this will be the time. Yeah, they're trying to move everything into micro apps in the cloud, uh, and I think by virtue of them being separated into micro applications like that, uh, it will have to be separated and built smaller. I mean, there's it's hard to do otherwise. Uh, so thank God, finally right. we'll get there. <laughs> But the application as it is is just huge. And then I have to sit here sometimes and wait 15 seconds or more just holding my balls while IntelliJ indexes. I love that. That's uh, that's one of my favorite things. But I, on the other yeah. hand, if we used Eclipse, it just wouldn't load at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it would just crash. So. Yeah. <clears throat> We were pretty big NetBeans guys uh, back in the day, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, now I have some some disdain for NetBeans people. 
Yeah. I kind of feel like, you know, just get with the program already. Like they're they're trash people for garbage IDs. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but I think three people in my group still use IntelliJ or still use still NetBeans. Use NetBeans. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't I don't really know. I, I mean, one of them. One of them just feels like the observatory should pay for any anything that you use at work. And okay. I feel like that's like crawling on broken glass for no reason out of spite, you know? Like, this is your job. It's your life, you know? Are you really going to just suffer to get back at somebody? I mean, come on. <laughs> The other two actually prefer it, and that I can, I respect that. Like, you know, we all have preferences, but, but don't do it out of spite. I mean, come on, spend the money. Compared to other professions, you know, like my wife has to carry all these bags in with her when she goes to work, and she has to buy all this stuff for herself and carry it into work. And as a developer, you don't have to buy anything, really. So, you know, 200 bucks a year, that works out to like, you know, not a lot of money each day. It's just spend the money. All right. It's true. So man. I'm looking at your code. Looking at your code here. Well, this isn't my code. Let's just step the fuck off. All right. Okay. Look. So I know it's your code. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> lambdas, man. It took me a little while to understand lambdas, and I had to explain it to other people. Uh, that part is the part that sucks about lambdas. The explaining. Well, to me, it, it looks too much like magic just because they added some syntactic sugar to it. Yeah. And all it is is an inline implementation of an interface that only has one method in it. Right. That's it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the whole banana. It is, but I, I prefer to think that it is just a function because I come because it's from a functional, functional interface. Functional I mean, it's... Well, yeah, but I, I like functional programming, and so... I, I favor the let's pretend this is scheme kind of worldview. It's totally not true. You have to go through some effort to capture variables and stuff, but yeah, but it's cute. You know, it's a cute way to live. I still like, um, you know, having other classes and doing method references and stuff too. That's kind of a cool thing too. Oh yeah. That's a, that's a pretty good quick shortcut. It's a good time. I think we could roll with this. This doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so basically, well, what I, one thing I don't like about it off the top, how they've done this, I mean, this looks cool, the way they've set it up, because it's so compact, right? Like mm -hmm. this for this first line. Uh, you know, anyway, you, for the, anytime you get a slash hello, we map it to this request response, and we return hello world, and that's it. That's great and all, but that's also useless. <laughs> Right. That's very true. We're not gonna we're not gonna have a response that's gonna fit on one line like this. We're probably not gonna have a response that's even gonna fit on thirty lines like this. Yeah. Right. So yeah. It, it's nifty, but eh, I don't know. Not that exciting. So the other the other thing, and I think I was getting into this before we parted ways. Uh occupationally <laughs> <laughs> is uh, I don't really like doing raw JDBC but I also don't really like hibernate because yes. I'm just generally not happy you know and uh, I've found that I, I quite favor something that used to be called iBotis but has since been renamed to MyBotis oh, which boy. is an unfortunate name for a New Mexican because when I say it it sounds like I'm saying my bodice. <laughs> Which is not what I'm saying. But well, maybe uh, you should. All right. Why fight it? it? Why fight it? I should put one on and then start programming. So um, that's something we should maybe consider. I don't remember if you used that before. I've heard it, left. but I haven't used it. So it's, it's like the half of Hibernate you want without the rest of it that you don't want. So it really just lets you write SQL statements and get objects back. There's no, there's no weird like object dirty marking and session saving and all that stuff. It doesn't really help you with insert statements. Uh, 
and it, it can induce an XML file on you, but it's not it's not like a Hibernate XML file <laughs> of, of death. Yeah, I mean, oh my god, I've I've, I've kind of blocked that out of my life. Well, what do you guys use? Do you use Hibernate? Um, I don't have to use anything. I call a service. It's all service oriented, so I I call a service that takes either an XML request or an X or a JSON request or a straight so REST minions. request. You've got minions now that take care of this shit for you. Yeah, they're all at a lower level. Le a lower level. I turned Australian real quick. No, on the Barbie level, uh, <laughs> we don't. Yeah, I don't have to deal with databases. I deal with services that deal with databases, so I don't have to mess with any of that. Um, so what's going on? Does everybody just use everything there, or do you guys use Hibernate and it's just hidden from you and you don't have to touch um, it? I honestly don't know. What do, you, what do you mean you don't know? You just you magically ask for shit to be stored and somebody somewhere else stores it for you and you have no idea? Well, it's not even that case. I don't even store data. Right? This is an e-commerce platform. There's no data for me to store. I ask for products and to ask someone to sell them. I mean, <laughs> there's, That's I don't, weird. I don't save any information at all. I retrieve information displayed to the user. That's it. This is the only thing you've ever said about your job that I'm jealous of. <laughs> right. <laughs> the only thing. Right. And I put myself in the middle. <clears throat> when I interviewed here, the first, one of the first things they said, because it is an e-commerce e site, and I said, all right, well, one of the questions they asked me, uh, you know, the standard, do you have any questions about the job? I'm like, do we have to dick with credit cards? And they're like, nope, that's a different team. It's just, right? Because yeah. if I had to deal with credit cards, that would undo any good thing about the whole job, I think. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I had to deal with payment processing. I mean, it's all fine to show customers products and get them ready to buy it and try and get them to buy it and stuff. But once money is involved, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. don't want to deal with that. Not interested. No, no, you don't want, you just don't want that pain. Um, <clears throat> what I do want is this stupid, uh, <sighs> stupid fat daikini. How <sighs> <laughs> long has it been since you've watched Willow? I stole it from a stupid daikini while he was taking a pee pee. That's right. It's been a while, but. I was a kid once, and I memorized that movie pretty well. So. That's good. That's that's how it should be. So, <clears throat> on the subject of this site, what what do we really need it to do, and what, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what do we need it to do? What are we going to actually have it do? Right. Uh, is there any intersection there at all? That's the question. Right. <laughs> that is the question. So Chrome Man, just I gotta won't do a load little Maven here. magic. We we now have a magic Maven repository at work, and I have it set up here, so I gotta move that aside. Oh yeah. Anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm trying to get my tablet to load the stream so I can see what's going on. It's like, whoa, Maven changed. You want me to re-index all your shit? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Fuck if you have to. Jeez. <laughs> <clears throat> indexing i mean it's it's a hassle but it is pretty responsive after it's done yeah that's the idea all right um <clears throat> shit to do so like we were looking at earlier we basically want a page that's going to display a list of you know our shows that we've done mm -hmm. um and that's about it, really. I mean, be able to click to interact with, you know, to take you to the YouTube, the YouTubes. Mm -hmm. So for right now, that can be the index page and there doesn't need to be an episode page. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we can put a little blurb at the top or whatever the shit we think is necessary. But I don't, I like... I worry that there's no other content, really. If we had a separate right. page for it, what would we put there? 
Right. So let's let's aim for simplicity for starters. It's usually uh and just have the one. So um do you want to use the YouTube API to go and fetch this shit or No, I don't think so. I think that's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do we want to um what are we going to do? Are we going to share? How are we going to code this together, Homeboy? Or am I just going to look at it and mock you? Or are we going to try out that plugin or what? <clears throat> um, well, I guess so. Here's the question Do we want to spend the entire time here uh, trying out the plugin and trying to get it to work? Or do we want to get something done and then worry about that next time? <laughs> that sounds good. Let's get something <laughs> done. Because, you know. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Uh, okay. Well, let's make a really ugly list. I mean, just like list item slash. All right. So <clears throat> the basic way this is going to work, uh, as I understand it, is we're, I mean, we don't need a slash hello. Let's get rid of that shit, obviously. Uh, we're not going to have any DB requests right now. I'm just going to. Uh, let's talk. Cut that out. <clears throat> sure. Right. Sure. You come to the slash. You get the page. You get a request and response. And the types are probably just HTTP request. Or are they getting some fancy? Fancy. It's not, fancy. It's not gonna be fancy. Not yet. A template view route. Open it for me. Why you gotta be coy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Spark request object and a Spark response object, so that could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> really could just be about. All right. It's probably not gonna have a session if this is intended for APIs. But that's all right. We're not gonna need that. I noticed that in Restlet the other day, and it made me kind of sad. Like, uh, had to do a bunch of digging and casting and shit like you're not supposed to do. Right. <laughs> like, you should know better. What are you doing? Yeah, here? you should definitely not do that, and I did it. All right. Anyhow, um, so this is some sort of fancy Spark request response object that contains an HTTP server request response. Right. Uh, this is our attribute map that we make for an FTL model in view. So in our job, we don't have, we stopped using the FTL templating for the most part mm -hmm. uh, in favor of JavaScript template engines and job, you're doing everything in JavaScript and yeah. JSON shenanigans. So. Well, if you wanted to do that, I mean, what we would do is we'd probably make two projects, one for the back-end API and one for the front-end. Well, and not even totally necessary. Like, so, essentially, we would have two things, right? We would yeah. have a, like, this slash would just return a, a index page that has a header template. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that it'll it would load like a, a banner up the top, anything that we're gonna put on the sides, it would load that shit, and then it would kick off a JavaScript AJAX call that would go to a different path, mm -hmm. like get videos or get my shit slash mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, right. throw in some parameters, and then I would map right back to the same controller. This is essentially a controller, although we're not using Spring, but still. Uh, mm -hmm. and um, then that would return JSON or something mm -hmm. and then we'd have JavaScript on the end that would take care of it I don't right. know that there's any real <clears throat> real super value in that unless it turns out that this is slow like a lot of the reasons I started moving uh, at, at my work to doing stuff like that is because loading the whole page is slow when we want to get something displayed to the user and mm -hmm. then kick off page loading in the background so we can be displaying them a spinny circle that says, hey, we're loading your results, you're, we're searching 
this many this is and this many that's and mm -hmm. we're showing you the best deal possible boy aren't you the best deals deals <laughs> deals yeah <clears throat> right well uh, like at the nrao we're moving in that direction too but it's more it's more because the front end frameworks make it easier to make more sophisticated front ends than jsf does jsf is kind of kludgy like it doesn't like nesting a lot of stuff deeply it doesn't you know it's yeah. just heavy and it's it sucks to put it in one word um so that's kind of the reason we're moving away from it but for something for what we're doing here we really need one request right now that renders a list of episodes and that's really all we need for today yeah i don't think we need so. too much um so, you know, this model in view just takes an attribute map. I mean, so uh, this can lead you down very dark paths. Mm -hmm. Basically, it can lead you into your page is not really object-oriented <laughs> very quickly if you just treat this as a flat map, right? So we want to we wanna have some sort of real structure here with real objects uh, just to keep it sane. Okay. Not just a giant flat map of. So we want to have basically a an episode list object that has episodes in it. Is kind of what you're thinking. Yeah, because ultimately I'm thinking we could support things like tagging episodes, searching by the tags, and I mean, so like if we had a, you know, we could tag this shit with Java and Web, right? And then we can mm -hmm. tag other things with whatever. Uh, what other fancy frameworks we're using or whatever the hell mm -hmm. uh, so we'll need some sort of object that can handle that and then we have to handle searching and whatever later but uh, yeah uh, I think that's a good idea so why don't you make us some objects some classes some classes if you will some classes in this uh, classy joint um Fine, fine. Um, so I don't know. How, your mind. <laughs> well, I was gonna make a package to put them in first. That oh. felt that felt a little better. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's presumptuous of you to think that Sourboat Life is available as a .dot com. Do you even know? <laughs> I have no idea. We we can look. I might be about to register a domain when go check. <laughs> Look, site can't be read. No, man, we can snag that. <clears throat> really, if we wanted to do it, though, right, we'd, we'd be probably, what, sourboatlife.tv? <laughs> uh, well, we could do that, but TV, I think, is more expensive. Uh, well, bag that. <laughs> uh, sourboatlife.com is available. Uh, sourboatlife.tv is available, but it's 40 bucks a year versus like 15. Mm -hmm. So make a decision, homeboy. Hey, man, it's your I'm money. Spending... It's my money. <laughs> All right, I'm going to real quick. Turn... I'm cheap. Yeah, that's fine. I know. I know. You're. you're... <laughs> You, I know how you are. <clears throat> All right, so what are we making? Just a package for uh, UI models or some crap? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Well, let me do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at oh, GoDaddy. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it'll totally do that. Uh huh? Yeah, it's gonna do that for you. Yeah, that's what's that's what will do. Totally. Totally. All right. So they're adding privacy. I don't. I really hate paying for that, but I also hate the spam. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll take the spam. Everything else, get out of my cart. So I like GoDaddy, but it does. It you need like a to take a thirty credit hour course to learn how to navigate their goddamn <laughs> purchase. All right. So. A new class. Um, Not doing it, GoDaddy. 
It's pissing me off. All right, sorry. Go go on. Talk about the codes. The codes are the important part. Hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Episode list. I don't know Episode what to call this. List. Name. So here's the thing. I don't know if anyone ever watches this in the future. Yeah. Someone ate half of my fucking pumpkin. Bre are you seeing this? Half of my pumpkin bread gone. No, you're not seeing this because I'm sharing my screen. Well, just trust me. <laughs> I believe you. My fucking pumpkin bread, man. All right. That's rough. It yeah. is rough. I really uh, hate that. All right. Hardest thing in this this damn programming profession is naming things that and cash expiration right that's the... <laughs> something like that <laughs> okay all um, right we got the domain you presumptuous bastard so it all right but i was gonna say before you hit okay on that we can go, name ahead, it. Go, ahead, go ahead add that shit who cares who cares you know just put it in there we can rename uh, it we can rename it so what i what i was gonna say is is there some object with a better name than episode list that might encompass what a you know a quantity of episodes is. I mean, it it feels like that should be called a show, right? Mm. Mm hmm. Or um, mm. a show has some metadata and it it has many episodes, right? What do they call it though? Like on IMDb or something? If you got a list of show of of episodes of this show, what is it? I think it's called a show, but I don't know. Let's go take a look. <laughs> uh, IMDb. Mm. TV. Um, so another is um, schema.org has um, different metadata schemas for different types of media productions. And they have one for podcasts, and they have one for episodes. So I guess there could be some metadata there, but I mean, we could hard code that too. I mean, there'd be, you know, problem. Oh, look at the sexy celebrities. Oh, yeah. Yep. TV. Most popular TV shows. Yeah, let's have one of them. What are you at? That's not the one I would have expected to see at the top of the list, but okay. What what have you been watching? Probably boring shit. I know when you no. Uh yeah, comedies. you know, like Kitchen Nightmares and Yeah, a lot of comedies. Uh we're re I, I'm ashamed to say that we are re watching Frasier. Because <laughs> once wasn't enough. Well, so we're know. gonna do it again. So they call it a title, I guess, and then a title has different. A title might induce other types, maybe. Um, at least that's the URL. So I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I, I, You're on a page for a show, and yeah. they have different types, right? I mean, they have movies, they have TV shows, then they have like other stuff, weirder stuff. I don't know. What well, you could call it podcast. Show is fine. Show is fine. I think we're just gonna go with it. I think you were on the right lane there. All right, so All right. let me uh fix it. Create class episode. Yep, yeah, that looks fine to me. Yeah, let's put it in there. So the the vital statistics here are what? Uh we've got an episode has an air date, an original air date. It has a link to the YouTube video. It probably has a title and a and a description. That's all I can think of offhand. What do you? Or in tags? You're worried about tags. Um. So one thing, um, I don't know what to do with this. So do we want? Do we want to store URLs as an object, or do at this layer? Or do we actually even care and just call it a string? And I say that because we have to just turn it into a string to get it to the, <laughs> the UI layer anyway. <laughs> I, um, I think you're right. I think it's a string. Because, I mean, one thing it does for us is sort of automatic, um, 
automatic data validation to some degree, but URLs are so generic anyway that it can be a perfectly valid URL or URI and still not go anywhere <laughs> useful. Well, plus the validation thing is more helpful when we're writing it in, and that's not the problem we're trying to solve today. Right, this is a display thing. <clears throat> All right. So I think you got a bunch of strings, my friend. Well, maybe a list of strings for the tags, yeah? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so what else? Um, I think you want a title, a description, and, and a date. The date being the original air date. <laughs> We're on air, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're blowing air anyway. Um, <laughs> We're definitely warming it. <laughs> Making it. We're turning it hot. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, I hate Java dates, but I guess... They know. are the worst. The absolute worst. Although they got a lot better with... Um, oh, Sorry, what do we ahead. have now? We have local time or something? Uh, is it called? I like using the Yoda, Yoda time library. Well, that's part of Java 8. <laughs> they folded that shit in. Um, so so you, I think you want a zoned date time or something? Yeah, it's a, a date time was the Yoda class or a local date time. Or zoned. I think you want zoned. Yeah, see, we're all still using. We just actually finally got off our asses and upgraded to Java 8, so we're still Sweet. using the original Yoda time. Well, we're... It's just a fucking disaster for us. Uh, well, actually, it's not It's not as bad as it could be because Dave built his own shit, and we use that thoroughly. Isolated. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, all Dave's weird... Uh, modified Julian date time. It's, it's a Julian date, I think. And it's got a bunch of other cool stuff. God bless Dave. I think we have to say a hallelujah now, just for mentioning Dave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dave yeah. will never see this. I don't know. I might send him an email. <laughs> it would be embarrassing. That's all right. <laughs> I'm game. All right. All right, so I don't know what kind of patterns you use, but for these dumb UI models, <clears throat> uh, I, I've, we've been using a lot of builder patterns to make these. Um, essentially, yeah, cool our pattern that. has been you have a you have an immutable model, you have, and then you have a model builder, and the builder can has all the business logic, but the model itself is just stupid and simple, and it has data, more or less. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. Especially for the UI, because, and here's how we I don't here's how we've been doing it for simple things. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, let's generate a bunch of construct uh, getters. A lot of what we, I don't know if you like this, but just scream at me if this sucks. All right, we've been doing something right. like this, where we have a public static builder class on the inside of this homie. Uh, let me include the word class. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Um, it's a little repetitive, though, so I don't know how much I really want to go through this. But then, basically, you would have all these same bastards here, and you'd have a bunch of methods that did that look like this. Um, public builder with title for instance mm. and it returns self and then there's another method like like build it you know, or yeah but you'll have a method like dot tag that just appends a tag to your, the list you're making and, right. and finally you have a build method yeah actually I've done this recently at work uh, because I kind of like it I think it's a sexy pattern um, so then we do all this and then right then the the topmost method is going to be just a public. Uh, what is this an episode? Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Return new episode. 
with some stuff in it, right? <clears throat> and this allows you to um, come on. Thank you. It get putting a builder inside like this gives you private access. Oh, yeah, cool. Right. So then you don't need to make setters. You don't have to. You, you it avoids two things. Um, you don't have to expose setters. You also don't have to expose a enormous an enormous uh, like fifteen parameter constructor. Mm. So do you have? Uh... Just to distract you for a second, um, do you have a Heroku um, server running this thing already? No. All right. I, I deployed their sample app as as is, and then I later on made our own GitHub repository and copied over some of the stuff. Okay, so you don't have a you don't have it running anywhere. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so version control, okay, yeah, you're doing the right thing, all right, cool. <laughs> That's uh, one of the nice things about Git, it mostly does the right thing until it eats all your shit. With no remorse. <laughs> it is remorseless, although they kind of tell you, like, if you run this command, you could hose your shit, so, so my, don't be drunk. You know, because... We're here to bullshit and talk about how things should be done, right? Mm -hmm. uh, my inclination is that we, well, as far as using Git correctly, right? There's probably, I mean, we just started a war with that sentence, but <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, maybe we should edit it out on YouTube just in case, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's like three schools of thought, right? I mean, there's... Uh, it's always three with you. It's always three with me. But, you know, there, there's <laughs> the one that GitHub really kind of pushes you towards, the fork and, and pull request kind of workflow. Um, the one that actually a lot of people use but don't blog about so much <laughs> is one where you don't fork, but everybody has their own branch and they can send pull requests from their branch, and it's all living in the same repository. I had never heard about that until I had a job at a place that used Git, and then I came to find out that that's actually a pretty common way of using Git. It just doesn't get as much airtime. And then, yeah, of course, that's what, that was my wrong. inclination: is that we basically <laughs> create, well, depending on how big the project is, but either you create personal or feature branches. Mm -hmm. Um, and you, you know, you upload that branch to the, to the origin. The one repo. The one yeah. repo to Matt. Mm -hmm. And it will, uh, and then you can so, create pull requests from that if you, right. to, to get a little review. That's the other yeah, thing that I You don't been... have to have a separate repo to send a pull request, which might be yeah. news to you if you've only ever used GitHub. No, no, you just... Yeah, no. That's that's how we I've always used it actually. Mm. Yeah. And then um which isn't very often by the way. Like I said, <laughs> we've been using Perforce and Yeah, gagging on our yeah. own bile. Wow. Um, yeah. Perforce is not great. Although we're still stuck with subversion. So mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well see, but Perforce was built off of C V S, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Well, it, but subversion is almost as bad because it was built to not not inflame the passions of people who love CVS by looking different from CVS. So it gets rid of the failure modes that CVS has, but it's just as shitty to use. One thing that I did like about Perforce that we didn't use or have any way in subversion that I used, whether it's possible or not, was the idea of a pending, a, a shelved pending change list, which mm -hmm. is essentially just a pull request, uh, hmm. right? Where cool. you can, you, you can upload your changes to the server. They're not merged into the branch. They're not merged into wherever you pulled it from, but 
they're available for anyone else with access to that repository to review and look at. Or you can say, you know what, I have to set this project aside, so I'm just going to shelve it, revert all my local changes, and you know that your files are safe on, on the, in the repository, even if they're not merged into the code. Mm -hmm. And then you can go do something else and come back to it later. Yeah. Well, with Subversion, the only workflow that you could really do for that would be to, to make a branch for whatever this is you're working on. And... and that would branch everything. Yeah, you have to branch the whole thing. And then just, you know, now it's sitting there getting harder to merge back in. <laughs> well, that's, that's true with shelving a CL also. Shelving a change list in Perforce is the same thing. It, it gets moldy. Uh... <laughs> Well, Git is enough better at merging that that problem is less of a problem. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah. Create a feature branch, put it over there, create a pull request. Because one, that's another thing we have to do. That's, even though I don't personally work with credit card information, um, to make PCI compliance in our application at all, every line of code has to be reviewed. Yeah. Period. If it's in production, it needs to be reviewed, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is good practice anyway, I think. But so we don't want to actually even submit code at all without a review, and I think the pull request path enforces that. Yeah. Uh, but when there's only two employees and we're doing it online, and <laughs> you know how much <laughs> you're already reviewing it because you're watching me do it. So, anyway. <laughs> Well, and you know, the another place I used to work had a pretty extensive code review regime, but the code base was so sloppy, and there wasn't a lot of uh, importance placed on cleaning up old code because you know it would have to be reviewed. And <laughs> <laughs> there were uh, there was a general practice of deploying on Fridays. Oh. Which meant that on Friday morning, people were trying to rush their changes in. No. Yeah, there was mandatory code review, but I wouldn't say it was uh, super in depth. <laughs> so. And it's just uh, whatever. Anyway, it was in depth enough to catch me whenever I fucked up, but. <laughs> but, but only yeah. you. But only me. So. Actually, don't you want those to return the builder? It is, yes. I'm like, it is returning the builder. No, it's not. Freaking R-tard. All right. Um, you want it to return void. You want it to return builder. I just hit undo, all right? All right. Um, Look, here's how we're going to do it this time. Substitute with... Um, Show us your amazing uh, Baifu. Oh, that's pretty impressive. I'll give you that. That was pretty cool. Um, anyway. Um, <clears throat> uh -huh. Save. Also important. Cool. All right. So then, basically, we just have to fix this. Uh, except... Uh, <clears throat> Well, and actually, yeah, yeah, like more like that. Um, straight up, you're on it, bro. You do have to copy and all that other stuff, though. Uh, your mom? Yeah. Oh, right there. Yeah, we've got to actually put it in the episode. All right. Uh, um, what am I missing? Title I've already got. Oh, description. And uh, original error date. So this is good. This is good, I think. Um, Basically, that's... Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. It's pretty hot. Um, and a lot of times, you know, this 
in general, this build method would have more in it, right? This would actually have logic. It could, yeah. Um, and that's what we, you know, that's where you're. <sighs> I mean, the other the other thing uh, is you probably need some kind of uh, new type method that would clear out your static variables, but. Uh, oh no! It's there's not no static variables. Static. Yeah. All right. Never mind. So, so this is good. I like this. I'm wondering now where are we going to store this shit, or do we need a database? Um, <clears throat> I think we pretty much have to. Uh, okay. Um, so we can dig with that. How long are you good for today? Uh, I'm only good for an hour. Right, so ten so more minutes. Ten more minutes. <laughs> but we do own the domain now, so maybe in the next episode... Well, in the next episode, I guess we'll have to do the database stuff. Um, we could try and get this online right now, if you want. <clears throat> um... So I don't know, I don't even know what's in this stock index FTL here. It's got um, bootstrap and some other, you know, it's, it's fairly sexy. It's, it's going to look good. Um, well, it'll look like bootstrap, you know, you know what they say. Penis. They usually say penis. Yep. Um... Um, I don't even know, man. So anyway, uh, I don't remember how to do an FTL for loop for each oh. kind of hooker yeah. and all that kind of crap, but, uh, Jumbotron, uh, do we have, okay, so Jumbotron's going to be nice, uh, Great. It's going to have some big stuff, and then we're going to have a generic container class. Sure. Learn to deploy fundamentals of crap and all this bullshit. Alert info text. It's hashtag. Yeah, you want less than pound list, the word list. Yeah, right. And then your, your sequence name as your item variable. And then you end it with, you know, less than slash pound list. You can put an else clause in there for if there are no items, too. That's kind of cool. Um, you can also do something like, uh, uh, in general, uh, on variables, you can put a pound and then, you know, default value. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, you got to do as episode or something. Oh, right. App, yeah. Right. <clears throat> yeah. And then div some stuff, and maybe we won't just use a whole shit ton of divs. Maybe we'll actually call it. Actually, we totally will because it's uh, fucking bootstrap, so you're going to have to until we fix that. Penis. Don't forget about bootstrap, man. Never used it. All right. Well, hang on. Let me. I'll tell you what what CSS you want on your div here in just a second. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm just gonna delete all of this. Ah, oh, that looks so much better now. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Components. Um, I think we want. They they have. Oh right. They have what something called panel, which might be what we want. Um, yeah, here I'll I am you this, and you can take a look at it. Episode dot title tie tie tight title. So um, you can take a look at that. I think you might want because uh, inside the inside the panel you can make a title with uh, panel title. It, it you know the. I like Bootstrap, but you wind up using a trillion divs unless you do Bootstrap right, 
And to do bootstrap right, you have to um, you have to get less involved or SCSS and do a bunch of stuff there. Right. Yeah, I've I've used less at work also. Um, why stop? How do you? All right. And Windows is. Yeah. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see panel with heading, and the amount of markup that it takes to do it is kind of high, but it'll work and it'll look okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll figure that, that out later. When we wanna, fine, fine. We want it to actually look like something. Um, ah, sorry, so I have escaped the HTML, I think, if I remember how to do that. Uh, just in case. Putting this in here will HTML encode anything that happens to be in the title. Oh, cool. Um, there's also like JS string, and I wonder, is it, I don't remember now. Um, free marker, is that all we have to do, or do we have to do like HTML string? A, oh, that says it's deprecated. Okay, what do you want me to use instead? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, I guess uh, you're just supposed to use escape. I don't know. Built in is deprecated by the auto escaping mechanism introduced here to prevent confusion, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if auto escaping is turned on or not. Sounds risky, homeboy. Hmm. Even escape is deprecated, so I'll put format auto escaping. Hmm. So every template has an associated output format, which dictates the escaping rules and specifies a mime type. So how do you do that in Spark? Spark documentation. Spark it up, Chris. What? What? I'm about to. Free marker. All right. Hmm. Not uh, really sure. All right. So, but either way, we're going to put in a, what did, what did we decide to call this thing? We have the top level thing is going to be a show. Mm -hmm. Show. Oh, and, and view. Hmm. Rot. That's great. I love these new Google search results where it's like, I didn't include some of the words you used, but... I hope that's okay. <laughs> All right. It's not. It gets you stabbed in the face. It gets you stabbed in the nuts. All right. Uh... Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dude. Have you seen J2HTML? Never heard of it. Yeah, me either before this moment, but it looks cool. Let's send you another link. Take a look at this crazy shit. Uh, whatever, I'm just hacking things together. Why? Oh.
one thing, of course, that's always a pain is there's like no, I mean, by by making these Java these fancy, you know, HTML or JavaScript templates and stuff, you've essentially made it to where the compiler can no longer check these things for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. Although, and well, and that is something that is solved by the thing that I linked you. <laughs> Why you gotta <laughs> but, be like uh, that? I don't know, just to bother you. Right, fair so, enough. So, um, yeah. Let me let me think here. Um, yeah. See, the compiler can totally check that for you. Um, if you're using JSF or something like that, then. IntelliJ can yell at you because IntelliJ can detect that you're trying to write HTML and it can tell you you're doing a bad job. Um, I think that there's a free marker plugin also for IntelliJ. There is. I'm getting syntax highlighting on my side. Um, our, our mutual friend and sometimes mentor, John Shipman, uh, really is into being sure that your HTML is valid. Um, my experience as a professional web developer <laughs> has been that it almost never matters. And I hate to say that, <laughs> but the truth is people serve broken, shitty, fucked up HTML all the time, and it just doesn't <clears throat> seem to be a huge problem. <laughs> to me, that's a... Uh, uh, practically, that's a... That's a code review topic. Not a... Uh, tool topic to me i don't know like if you do yeah, something I mean, really dumb it's like you get code reviewed and the guy says all right you're missing an end div here jackass right. and right you fix it well it's just that it seems like almost all the time either the markup is so bad that the page doesn't render or renders wrong or the javascript can't work because it can't find the things that it needs right and the rest of the time it seems to be fine. So it's there's a enough. lot. There's a big fuzzy area there where, yeah, it's not valid, but it seems to work. You know, they even made some of those close tags unnecessary in HTML5, which is a throwback to HTML3, I think, when uh, when it was based on SGML, which was a lot more flexible about things. Like p tags didn't really need to end and stuff like that. Uh, LIs didn't need to be closed. That stuff is now true again in uh, HTML5. So, anyway. <coughs> so you're making like a Hello World type page here with the current episode? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> um... Anyway, yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe what we should do, I'm going to try and stretch this out for a few more minutes, is uh, if you can get this to run on your machine and do something, then we deploy it to Heroku and we set up DNS today. And then uh, we can pick right. it up next week and do the database side and... and make it look a little bit hotter. What do you think? i start sharing the whole screen here. I don't remember. Let's see. So, um, let's hopefully I've got stupid. Oh, backup. Right, Maven command. That sounds right. Um, if I just do install, it should do everything. Are you kidding me? Are, are you messing with my my heart right now? All right. I don't remember how to use Windows PowerShell all that well either. Like, I want to just type, where is Java? But I'm pretty sure it's going to say, I don't know what where is, is it's Java. <laughs> oh. You should get um, Bash on Ubuntu on Windows for your Windows. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's a real thing. <clears throat> It used to be called uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux, I think. Anyway, you can get it. You can run that shit on your Windows box. <clears throat> Might have to. Um, Might have to. Where... Might be a good idea. 
I don't know where the hell uh, Java is. Well, do you want to like check it in, and then I could I could check it out, and we I could share my screen. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, let's see. That's all there. Let me go to version control. See if I can do this right through. No, nope, screw it. I don't want to figure out IntelliJ right now. Let's see. Git. Stats. Should be Control K. Uh, I added all these things. What are you talking about Beavis. Episode and show is on there. Why are they showing up in red? Uh, index. Oh, Adam again. Well, no, but no, I, I probably will. But uh, index should have been added automatically by IntelliJ. But apparently not. Um, why you gotta be like that? <laughs> <clears throat> Jackass. Add everything. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, okay. I don't, I'm okay. All right. Um, What did I call this thing? It's right up here. Oh, it's already in origin. So I should just be able to say get push. Get, get push. I should have switched <laughs> branches earlier, but I've got some sort of stage fright going on now. Um, <laughs> uh, did it go? Uh, it is, but it's not in master. <laughs> what branch are you in? Uh, the only other branch. Uh, project initialization, project dash initialization. Or are you going to do a pull request or something? Just to show off? Well, yeah, do it right, right? Got to do it right. Right. Uh, yeah, so now you should be able to look at the pull requests, right? Yeah, but just merge it for me. <laughs> I, I, I will. <laughs> uh, let me, is this yeah, that's the one. All right, it's done. All right, cool. So I'm going to start sharing my screen. This might fail or disconnect me or something. Uh, which one do I want to do? Probably the whole screen, huh? Uh, yeah, it's just easier. So I'm going to switch over to... All right, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do a poll. Are you are you seeing me? Um, it's not. Oh, did I minimize your screen? Because I sometimes fuck that up. If you're minimized, it doesn't uh, record you. No. Why? Well, do I have to have a, that tab active? Uh, no, no, no. It's all based on me. Um. Oh. We'll it's all me, that. all right? No, I, I see your desktop in appear in. It's, it's totally a, a, a on my side sort of thing. So let me just... Hello? <laughs> mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Technical difficulties yep. are the best difficulties. Yes. This will all be edited out in post. <sighs> you think that's how that works, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're going to fix it in post. All right. So that's the correct window. Uh, I hear I hear children folk coming in here. Messing with your stuff. Oh, there we go. Now, now right, we you. got it you. to work. All right, good. Okay. Hi, son. Uh, I will... <clears throat> I need another five minutes. 
right? All right. It's it's okay. It's okay. Um, all right. So hi, you're watching. You're watching Daniel trying to like get DNS working. So uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and pull your thing here. <laughs> yeah. You grab are. it and pull. All right. Uh, so Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and do. Once. I think Heroku create. I think is probably the command I need to run. All right. Uh, so now I'm gonna do git push Heroku master. And that should hopefully make this thing happen on this website over here, which is... You can just do Heroku open in a minute. You know, I could do it that way. I guess that's that's a legit option right there. You know what would have been cool, though, would have been to run it on your machine and see if it works. Uh, yeah, but I couldn't get... I mean, it said it didn't know where Java was, and we were running out of time. I threw up my hands yeah. in the air. Sure. Uh, it's my fault. I uh, pretty much okay. So that's... let's do Heroku open per your advice. I'm gonna run it in a different browser because why not? Yeah, start up an entirely different browser. Nice application error. I mean, that sounds right. That does sound right. <laughs> you didn't put it on like hello or anything, did you? Ah, <clears throat> uh, no. Heroku logs. Yeah, it's just on no web shit. process running. Oh, you had to allocate it a thing, right? I did, though. That's what Heroku Create did. Oh, we might need a proc file. Oh, we yeah, we don't have one, so it's not doing it automatically. You need to. Uh, uh, I don't remember the commands now. Um, you don't have to necessarily. So you can just say, you know, Heroku, give me a web instance. You need, you can need to scale it up, right? From zero web instances to one web instance. Do I? All right. Let me see. In the in well, I think we do because we don't have a proc file that's correct. Oh, cool! Look at that. What about Maven Heroku deploy? I don't know if we set that up or not. I don't know either. Let's find out. Uh, where was my where was my brains? Because uh, well, if this doesn't work, then it's it's your fault somehow. Here. <laughs> All right, just try this real quick. Hang on, hang on now. No, no, I already got it. You got it. Can I? Can I? Is it running? No, I'm telling you what to type, man. Just to see if this Tell is going to fix it. Just Heroku ps colon scale web equals one. Up oh, wrong. Need to get to the directory. Couldn't find that formation. And this failed as well. All right, so we <laughs> suck at life. We're sour about sour about life right now. We're sour. No, we're sour about web. Sour about web. Okay, so I I feel like what we need is something in the proc file, but this website doesn't seem to be saying that we need something in the proc file. It's saying we should do other things. I don't know. So yeah. anyway, I'm going to set up DNS anyhow because I feel like it. Well, actually, am I going to do that, or... Uh... It it's, won't really have anything to point at. Well, it could give us that error page. <laughs> Not nothing. <laughs> Don't laugh at me like that. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer. Roku PS scale. Web. Yeah, it's probably complaining because it doesn't think we have any web dynos. I have any web procs. We're fresh out of them. You know, and have a web proc, so that's what the problem is, I think. But then again, over here, there's no mention of the proc file. That seems weird. Yeah, I'll I'll mess with this some more later. So they right, so... Oh, okay. No, no. You know what? Let's set up this. Here's a plugin configuration. So let's just try it. 
Let's just try it. And how are you connecting to the same Heroku instance? I mean... Ah, here. that's the rub. I totally am not. It's just not. It's not the same. I mean, you you just created your own random thing, right? Yeah, that's exactly what happened there. So it's not connected to this the sour boat one at all. You're right. <laughs> You're right about that. I think it wants me to. Uh, yeah, there's some assembly plugin horse shit that we have to do too. All right, I'll get that in there. Kind of sounds Grab too it. hard. Too hard for right now. Oh, it's not too hard. All right. So, all right. Let me try it now and see what happens. Prepare the app. Got it. Kit add palm dot XML. Uh, I'm working on deployment with the Roku and assembly plugins. Because I already Kit did push. So I already did like a Roku create. Uh, so you can give me permission on our own repo. You didn't join it, man. <laughs> like uh, so much pain right here. Like how do I Okay. So okay, so we have crashed and burned pretty well, I think, for today. That's probably true. Uh, yeah. Alright, so um what what we should do behind the scenes, I think, is probably I should join your group. How do I do that? Just go to GitHub and click OK on something. Um. Well, I, yeah, I'm not. I don't remember. I don't want to create a new anything. I don't want to look at the profile. I want to say this dude has permissions. Collaborators. Let me go to collaborators. Type a password. My collaborator doesn't. Okay, so who's what are you what are you going as on the GitHub's? Yeah, the fusion gyro thing. It's annoying, <laughs> but yeah, that's what it is. Oh, there you are. I see you. Or right, I've clicked add collaborator. Yeah, that's me. All right, so now let's try this push. No. Well, I'm, I mean, now that you're a collab, did I check out? How did I check it out? It remote. I checked it out. So what's the problem? It In still says I'm awaiting a response to the invite. Hmm. So you might have to accept the invite, then I might That's have to rude. go in there and give you permissions instead of unpermissions. Who knows? Oh, fuck. Okay. All right, man, your five minutes are up. Come on, GitHub, you can do it. They totally are. I have accepted, and now I have push access, it says. Okay. okay. Let's try this now. Getting mail from you. Oh, it doesn't like the fact that I left out some of my some of the stuff from my palm file. So it's downloading some plugins. It's downloading Great. my assembly plugin and some other stuff dependencies else for the, the assembly planet. plugin so you're experiencing the high speeds to core internet mm -hmm. yeah well it is maven it does have to download most of the internet before it can run before it can do anything at all it's kind of impressive to me that they made something they made some they made software that is deterministic to download like 150 external dependencies before each run. <laughs> that's that's pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, Socorro Internet. 
There's, been... there's somebody in town that's selling cable internet. I need to go by and see if it's true or if it's a lie. Really? Um, Did I lose you? No, I'm here. Oh, there you are. We've like been recording for one hour and 26 minutes. Cable and uh, I know I'm going to be in trouble with the wife if I don't wrap this up pretty soon. Come on, Maven, you can do it. Yeah, well. I think if we weren't recording the video, this would probably be a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, right now, I'm. It keeps it interesting for the viewers. I'm, they can just watch lines. Nope. I'm, I'm streaming my desktop to you. I'm streaming whatever you're sending me to the internet, and I'm also recording it on my hard drive. So it's a good thing that I have cable cable nice. internet that's like, I don't so know. So I shouldn't, I definitely should not expect Maven to get it. A gig of data all that fast. Ah, I felt like Maven was slow when it downloads things at multiple megabytes a second. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, we're starting to get laggy um, audio. How do you downloading more shit? All right, no, I think we're done here. Uh, so the next question, of course, is where no, are we going? Over you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um. I guess we'll try and do this again next Saturday Where or are we Sunday. Going? Yeah, let's aim for next Saturday. Probably around. Sound good? Around when? Hey, wait, where'd you go? I think around there's a pretty. Two? I think there's a pretty big lag between my talking and your hearing right. and responding, and yeah. Anyway. Round two sounds good. Uh, and I, I think will... you're right. <laughs> I, I turned off screen sharing. <laughs> That's, yeah. I'd... Yeah. All right. Goodbye, Internet. Goodbye, Internet. The Internet says goodbye to you. All right. So Saturday, 2 o'clock, Mountain Time. We'll see if we can get this rolling again. Um, and until then, I will see all you people in a little while uh, I'll hopefully get this up on YouTube see if we can make that work bye